this look right here it is so so glam i absolutely love how this turned out you can wear this anywhere during parties and even christmas season is coming so you all can totally rock this look on that day and the entire reason for this entire look was this palette right here it is called as the nubian by jumia's place and it is such a beautiful palette this is what it looks like from the inside it is the perfect neutral shade palette you get so many shades and they are so very pigmented i'll just swatch some of them for you all so that you you all can come to know exactly how pigmented they are these are the pigmentation of this eyeshadow palette i literally swiped it once and this is what you get it is so 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 beautiful and it is so easy to blend as well i promise you this palette is not going to disappoint you i will link from where i bought this palette in the description box below i bought it from an instagram site and that girl was so 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 helpful and my palette literally arrived in a week i was so surprised and so very thankful to you so yeah i will link her or uh, name in the description box below if you all want this palette i'm just going to stop blabbing now and if you all want to know how i achieve this look please keep watching so the first step that i'm going to be doing is prime my face and for primer today i'm using my l'oreal studio secrets professional smoothing resurfacing primer Once we've applied our primer, I'm gonna move on to foundation. And for foundation, I'm using my Fit Me Maybelline foundation. This is my all-time favorite foundation. I absolutely love this one. I'm just gonna dot it right on my face first. And then with my Pack Beauty Blender, which is my all-time favorite beauty blender, I'm just gonna stamp it on my face. We are going to move on to concealer and for concealer today I am going to be using my NYX HD concealer in the shade CW06 and I am just going to apply my concealer wherever I normally do that is under my eye also around the corners of my mouth and on my eyelids as well because I want to prime with it and then with my beauty blender I am just going to blend it out So once we are done applying our foundation and concealer, I'm gonna set my face with the the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. This is like my go-to powder for now. So what I like to do first is just set the powder and let it sink into my skin under my eyes, and then I'm gonna bake my face. Today I'm gonna be doing my contouring and blusher and then we are gonna move on to our eyebrows and eyes. So for contouring today I'm gonna be using the Savannah Colors Ultra Blush Palette and for contouring I'm gonna be using this shade right here. Uh, I'm just gonna contour my face very slightly. And then I'm just gonna take the same brush, pinch it a little bit and contour my nose as well. Just slightly. I just wanna give it a little bit of definition. And then we are gonna bronze up our face. For bronzing I'm using the Sephora powder in the shade Deep 50 I suppose. This is what it looks like. And again I'm gonna take my bronzing brush which is a pack 342 and bronze up my face. I'm also bronzing my forehead just so that the entire lip comes together. And then I'm also bronzing up my jawline just to give it a little bit of shadow. Once we are done with that for blusher, I'm gonna be using this. Savannah Colors blusher that I used earlier and this shade right here and give me a little bit of flush and for my blusher brush I'm using my Real Techniques buffing brush so once that is done I'm gonna be baking right here so that I get that sharp 
line of contour and everything looks very neat and you know put together so i'm gonna be doing my eyebrows off camera if you want a full routine on how i do my eyebrows i have a video on that so i will link it somewhere here so check it out so guys my eyebrows are done now we're gonna move on to our eyes and the star of the show the Nubian by Juvia's Place. This is the palette that I'm gonna be using. This is the entire reason for this tutorial. I wanted to try this out and this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna try this out and I've heard so many good things about this palette. I'm gonna be using this color right here for my transition shade. So I'm starting off with very less amount of product and then I'm gonna build up the shade. So this is one of the tricks that I've learned that you catch your blending brush in a in water vertical region and then just sweep it in. So what this is gonna do is just gonna blend out your eyeshadow in a very smooth gradient and just gonna make your application very very easy. Let me know, try it out and let me know what you think about it if it helps y'all. It definitely helps me so yeah. I'm gonna be using this color right here for my crease region and I'm using the same pack brush I just cleaned it up a little bit and applying it right on my crease again you want to make sure that you take very less amount of product to start with and then build the intensity of this eyeshadow and I'm just going halfway in my crease region I'm not going further And then I'm just going to drag it right in my outer corners as well. So I'm step by step building the intensity of this eyeshadow so that I get the maximum amount of pigment right on my outer corners. I want it looking very smoky and dark. So once that is done, I'm going to be taking this shade right here, it's like a very dark brown color and applying it right in my outer corners and I'm going to be taking very little amount of it and just placing it right at my outer corners first. This is just going to deepen our outer corners a little bit more and then just blend it out. Once we've laid out our eyeshadows, I'm just gonna use a little bit of concealer and do a little bit of cut crease to just clean my inner corner region. So it's just gonna be halfway in the lid. And then before the concealer sets, just take any cream white eyeshadow that you have I'm using this eyeshadow right here from the makeup revolution neutrals versus neutrals palette you can use any any cream eyeshadow that you have and just set that concealer once you've done that I'm again gonna take the same dark brown shade that we used earlier and just blend the edges out and I'm gonna be very careful while blending this out because I do not want the eyeshadow to go where I've applied the concealer I just want it to look like a good transition. Now that our eyeshadow application is done, we're gonna move on to eyeliner and I'm gonna be using my favorite eyeliner that is NYX Matte Liquid Liner and Line My Eyes. And I'm gonna be doing a winged eyeliner. And then to add just a little bit of drama, I am gonna be using this glitter eyeliner by Melon in the shade 23 Pearl. This is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna add a double wing. So I've just applied my eyelashes and I applied the one coat of mascara. And for mascara, I use my essence. I love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara and I'm loving this mascara ever since I bought it. I'm only using this one. And now we're gonna move on to our lower lash line and I'm gonna be doing the exact same process that we did in our upper eyelids. So first I'm gonna out with the dark brown color that we used right at our outer corners and tight line with it. Once we've tight lined, I'm gonna take the crease shape that we use, the brown shade that we use, and smudge it out. And then I'm using a transition shade and giving it a little bit of shadow. 
once we are done with that, I'm just gonna take a white eyeliner. This is the Lacme Iconic Liner, and I'm gonna line my lower waterline. Once that is done, I'm just gonna apply mascara on my lower lashes as well. So now that our eyes are done, we are gonna move on to highlighting. And for highlighter today, I'm gonna be using my favorite highlighter of all time. That is this. In color Blast Symphony Repair Color Highlighter in the shade 06. This is what it looks like. It is absolutely stunning. I'm also gonna highlight the bridge of my nose. My cupid's bow. A little bit on my chin and right at the highest points of my eyebrows. And then I'm also gonna highlight with the same thing in my inner corners and my brow bone region. So for our lips today, I am gonna be using this NYX Full Throttle Lipstick in the shade Con Artist and this is a perfect fall, fall, fall shade. This is the final result. I hope you all like it and if you all do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up to this video and also let me know in the comments below what videos you all would like to see in the future so that I can do it for you guys. So yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!